This video is going to cover a combinatorial problem about placing numbers into a grid known as a magic square. Materials you'll need will just be numbers. You can write them on scraps of paper or index cards, or if you have them around the house, playing cards work great. Let's talk about some rules for this activity. We're going to be taking our numbers 1 through 9 and placing them in our 3 by 3 grid. We want to do this in such a way that every row, every column, and our two diagonals all add up to the same magic number. Now, we don't know what this number is, but we're going to need to do some experimenting and see if we can find just the perfect number so our rows, columns, and diagonals all balance out and add to this number. Let's make an attempt at this. To get started, I'm just going to place my numbers randomly in the grid and see how my rows all sum up. Now, I see that my first row adds up to 18, my second row adds up to 17, and my third row adds up to 10. I can make a quick adjustment so that my second row, well, that now also adds up to 18, but my third row adds up to 9, and I don't think I can make any changes to it so that it gets closer to 18 without messing up my first two rows. So I don't think 18 is going to be my best magic number. Our first question is to decide what our magic number should be. You can do this through a lot of experimenting, or with a little mathematical thinking, you might be able to see how things will balance out and predict what your magic number will be. If you're stuck, well, younger students can look on mathcircles.org, where we'll have a brief hint explaining what's the best magic number. Once you've decided on your magic number, or figured it out, you're going to need to move your cards around so that all of your rows, columns, and diagonals add up to your magic number. When you're done with that, well, we can move on to our next question. What we're going to do for this is we're going to get rid of the number 1. And instead, we're going to add the number 10. Using the numbers 2 through 10, can you figure out what your new magic number will be? It may be the same one from the previous problem, or it could be something new. After you figured out a magic square for 2 through 10, well, can we do 3 through 11? Playing cards might not be best for this, so we'll need to switch over to index cards that we could freely use to create bigger and bigger numbers. What about 4 through 12? Or 5 through 13? Let's go even larger. Can you figure out a magic square for any 9 consecutive numbers? We want to know what that magic number will be and the best way to arrange them to get to this number. Think mathematically about this and see if you can make an expression for your magic number. To find this activity, all of the materials, and a lot more, check out mathcircles.org. We have a ton of fun problems and we're always adding more.